Welcome to Chapter 4, Lesson 1. This is Scientist Cynthia, back with you to close out our learning through our final chapter. Today, you will definitely need something to write with and something to write on. You can always pause the video when you need to. Right now would be a great chance if you want to go grab those two things. Before beginning our lesson, let's take a few minutes to think about an answer to this question. Do you think weather can be dangerous? You can pause the video here and you can write, draw, or say your answer. Make sure you include reasons why you think it can or can't be dangerous. All right, let's get started. Our main goal today is to shift from predicting when types of weather will occur and now starting to investigate where types of weather will occur. We're going to see if we can find a pattern to the weather based on different places. Here we have a new message from the WPO. It says, two meteorologists, thank you for your strong and convincing arguments about the best island for the orangutan reserve. Our offices were recently destroyed by the heavy wind and rain from a hurricane, so we'd like your help with more weather-related questions. We want to rebuild, but we want to be prepared. Do you know where hurricanes will happen in the future? Are we in a place where hurricanes are likely? Is there a way to protect our building if another hurricane happens? And should we be aware of other types of dangerous weather? Hmm. Let's think about dangerous weather and make a list of different types. What kinds of dangerous weather have you ever heard of? Pause and think for a minute about all of the different kinds you think are dangerous weather. Remember, you can always pause the video here if you need to and write down your answers if you want to, or you can just make a list in your head. Here are a few different types of dangerous weather that I thought of. Hail, tornadoes, hurricanes, lightning, and many more. If you thought of a different one, that's great. You can add that right to your list. This book has examples of three types of dangerous weather, blizzards, hurricanes, and lightning. We'll, we are going to read it in the next lesson to learn more about how we can help the WPO. For now, we're gonna look about these three types of weather, hurricane, blizzards, and lightning. What do you already know about these kinds of weather? This would be a great time to pause the video, write down everything you know about these three things, hurricanes, blizzards, and lightning. I'll give you a minute or so, and I'm gonna write down some of the things that I think. One thing that helped me when making my list is that the message from the WPO said that the hurricane had heavy wind and rain. So I think that that means hurricanes are storms with strong wind and heavy rain. Blizzards are storms with heavy snow and wind. And lightning strikes are flashes of electricity in the air that can cause fire sometimes. Meteorologists use the term natural hazards when they talk about types of dangerous weather. Blizzards, hurricanes, and lightning are all natural hazards. As meteorologists, it's our job to answer this new question for Chapter 4. How can the WPO prepare for natural hazards that might damage their offices? Today, our investigation question is, how can people prepare for natural hazards? So we've brainstormed a few natural hazards, blizzards, lightning, and hurricanes. To figure out how the WPO can prepare for them, we need to learn more about natural hazards, when they happen and where they happen, and what people can do to be prepared. So we will start by investigating our question, how can people prepare for natural hazards? In our investigation today, we'll use a new mapping tool that you will see in the next video. 
Stay tuned. <laughs>